So, can I be honest? I have got my coat buttoned because dinner was a disaster. I looked like John Bellucci in Animal House. We have practiced this at this table over here. All of the stains are right below there. It's pathetic. <laughs> Willie, first of all, thank you for uh, the nice words. I'll give you the money later. Uh, let me congratulate all of the winners tonight who are here and the group, the legacy group. I was the one who replaced Jack Eaton at Memphis State. And so when I saw that film footage, man, that really hit home with me. It's been 35 years ago, but it got my attention. So a lot of you saw that stupid looking film of me just in total shock when Pamela Fur and Buddy Sadler and Pete Weber put that surprise on me in April. What a nice surprise that was. And it led me to that night, what I would call kind of the walk of my life, where I got out of the house and for about 90 minutes, I just sort of said, how the hell did this happen? <laughs> and it forces you to sort of think about things. And the thing that sort of crossed my mind was, God has put so many incredible people in my life. And I wanna say thank you to a few of them tonight. There are three tables up toward the front, and I'm not gonna run through every last name. I'm gonna generalize here. To those three tables, I say thank you to all of you because each and every last one of you have done something for me that I could never forget, that has made my life better. And I'm so appreciative to that. Table number four, I don't even know where y'all are. I'll call it my BGA table. Where are you all? Oh yeah. Battleground Academy has been such a part of my life and I so appreciate the school making me feel like family. Man, the best thing that ever happened to me was going to BGA. And then there's my Vanderbilt table. The tallest table in the history <laughs> of the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame. Led by six foot 11 inch Will Perdue and all the way down to Petro. <laughs> There's about 3,600 points that have been scored at Vandy by that table back there. <laughs> they were my first broadcast team in the early 80s. And I am so appreciative to that group because they have kept me involved with what they do. I was only about four years older than them. It was a weird deal. But I was only about four years older than them. And yet all these years later, a lot of the credit goes to Will Perdue because he keeps us all, every time he comes into town, we get together and I get ripped to shreds. <laughs> and Petro, so do you. <laughs> Now, on to, on to a few others. Man, I got the most unbelievable start in radio through three people, uh, one of whom is here tonight. Uh, the late Paul Lyle, the late Tennessee Radio Hall of Famer, Vic Rumor, and my good friend, Steve Dicker. God, I drove him crazy. <laughs> but he taught me the fundamentals of how to do radio right. And I was so fortunate to have Steve as a teacher, a mentor, one of about four general managers that I actually liked of the 12 that I ever had. And so Steve, thank you very much for being here tonight. To four great people who helped me in my play-by-play -play life in my 20s. You, you could never appreciate the class and the dignity of a Watson Brown, who's now a co-host of mine, how lucky I've been to have him as a friend and a big brother, the late George McIntyre, 
the late C.M. Newton, and my buddy, producer, engineer, and as I used to say in our broadcast, even though it wasn't true, former Atlanta Braves third baseman, Bob Horner. <laughs> um, it was very interesting to me to note in the film that they did bring up the lawsuit. So what the hell, I'm gonna bring it up too. Um, there are three attorneys that I wanna thank. Um, they have all my money. Seriously, to Scott Sims, to Bob Walker, and to Jack Waddy. Jack, I know you're here, where are you? Happy 80th birthday to you. He had an 80th birthday party last night that was unbelievable. And thank you all, thanks to the three of you for not allowing a company to bully me into radio retirement 20 years ago. I'll never forget that. Uh, to an unbelievable core, Willie, Darren McFarland, John McLean from the Houston Chronicle, Chad Withrow, Jacob Underwood, Angie Smith. This was the crew, what, hell, it's the crew that has me up here. <laughs> this crew created 104.5 The Zone off of my lawsuit, and you all were unbelievable. And I'm so thankful that Willie, both you and Darren are here tonight. Um, I know the others are here in spirit. To people like Bob Jameson, who tried his butt off. By the way, that coat, that green, that hideous green thing, what in the world is that? <laughs> that actually was a, a television broadcast of, of a no-hitter that a guy named Brian Kelly threw for the Nashville Sounds. Anyway, to, to people like Bob Jameson, Chip Walters, who I know is in the back, back there, Greg Ruff, Bud Walters, Chase McKay, Ted and Adam Johnson, Bob Meyer, Greg Pogue, Terry McCormick. Been lucky, God has blessed me with a lot of great friends. And in this venture we've started now, Dave and Ellen Gould, Chris Kulik, Watson Brown, Young Guns, Billy Derrick, Michael <laughs> Sendrick, Main Street Television. I am very fortunate and excited about this new venture. I want to say one last thing, then I'll shut up and get out of here. To the gentleman who got up earlier, who accepted the award for the Legacy Station, I hope I'm saying this right. Man, you hit it dead on right. Radio's not about corporate spreadsheets. It's not about hostile takeovers. Real radio, the way it was designed, is about community. It's about helping people. It's about a station in Cookville helping tornado victims. It's about a station in Waverly helping flood victims. It's about keeping the Nashville predators where they belong, in Smashville. That's what real radio is supposed to be. And so I put this challenge out because there's a group in here tonight that are what I would call radio lifers, okay? You didn't get in this to get rich. You got in it because of a passion and a love. And God in return has given all of us a platform. And it's a platform that we have to make a decision of what it is we're gonna do with it. And I challenge all of you tonight, find somebody or something that needs your help, and then use that platform to make a difference. To the folks involved in the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame, thank you so much for this. Uh, this is a wonderful event. You all deserve a ton of credit because you're not getting paid to do this. These are volunteers who love radio. And lastly, I thank my mom and dad. They're not here but somewhere up there, they're looking down and dad's going, did he pay for those tickets? <laughs> <laughs> Good night to all of you. Thank you for uh, putting me in this hall. This is a wonderful honor for me.